Good morning guys. Today I'm leaving Sapa sadly. Got to start the journey towards Ho Chi Minh City and that's about 2,000 kilometers and it's Vietnamese kilometers so you pretty much have to double it. Let's get on the road. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get today but... Her heart is plastic Only says she loves me when we're dropping acid Her love is tragic it's right in front of me, but I could never have it She moves in black and white Singing me silent lullabies With her hands in my sleeves Cinnamon skies for that I feel We are high in love, searching for Down in the basement Smoking clouds and flying higher than the spaceman Her meditation She calls it holy but I call it medication One day. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. No. Yes. Solo. That's good. Solo. <laughs> Tonight, but I need to get motorbike fixed, broken. So do you know where I can take it to get fixed? Yeah. Uh, um, or maybe in the morning would be better. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, motorbike will repair. Yeah, repair. Yeah. See the the gauge is broken, and that one's broken too. See no gauge, broken. Snap. You see? And uh, the brake. Look, see the. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bad. Yeah, I, I have you. Hey guys, I'm covered in dirt. Rode for over six hours today. I did what I did in two days and one day today. I saw a few head-on, almost head-on collisions. While I was riding, my speedo just decided to self-destruct. The fuel gauge just completely blew up. Like it, it's, you can't even see it anymore. It's all smashed up. And the, and the brakes stop working again. So my bike's in the garage. I'm getting a new tire because it's pretty much bald. So getting the brake fixed, getting the engine serviced, getting the speedo and everything all fixed. It'll be running great after this, but yeah, I think it's just not used to this kind of strenuous riding. The family from the hotel has invited me for dinner. That looks amazing. Yeah. 
Perfect. Okay guys, so I just had dinner with the family. It was quite an amazing meal. I don't know if you remember, but from a few vlogs ago, I was actually in this town before I went to Sapa on the way to Sapa in the same hotel room actually. And it was the man I said that he said he'd send me an email. I came back because it was so nice to me last time and they invited me for dinner. And it, yeah, it's his birthday. It's his 40th birthday. And I just ate with the whole family. It was really quite special. Now he's actually invited me to his house, and this is, I'm not paying anything for this, so yeah, the hospitality here is just incredible. It's, it's, yeah, but he seems honoured. I don't know what that means, but yeah. So right now I'm going to his house. It's the next day, so as you saw, that was just an amazing <laughs> invitation. The family said that they were going to take me to their house and have coffee. And went to their house and they all had a shower and like put on suits. And then they said, oh, we're going out for coffee. So I was like, okay, must be going to a cafe or something. And we turn up at this club that you just saw. And they had a VIP room booked for his birthday party. All his friends were there. It was karaoke. All these snacks and treats everywhere. I had to get up in front of 15 people and sing Michael Jackson, so that was an experience. It was interesting to see uh, the other side of the Vietnamese culture because I just saw the village culture in Sapa. This is the more kind of middle class lifestyle, so that was interesting to see two different sides. And today it's basically just raining really hard. Also, I'm still waiting on my motorbike, so I can't really go anywhere. Just gonna chill here for today and head off tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, oh, it's giving way, it's giving way. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>